The public's fascination is sparked by the sheer audacity and recklessness of Harris's actions. Assistant Public Defender Natalie Tate for Mr. Harris, who should be present in this Zoom. Mr. Harris, Hello. are you driving? Um, actually, I'm pulling into my doctor's office, actually. So, so uh, just give me one second. I'm parking right now. Is he stationary? I'm pulling in right now at the second. Yes, I am. All right. What are we doing? Uh, Your Honor, we are respectfully requesting an adjournment in this matter, um, up possibly to four weeks if the court would allow. So maybe I don't understand something. This is a driving while license suspended? That is correct, Your Honor. Um, and he was just driving. And he didn't have a license. Oh. Uh, is with the charges, Your Honor, yes. No, I'm looking at his yes. record. He doesn't have a license. He's suspended and he's just driving. That is correct, Your Honor. Oh. I don't even know why he would do that. So, defendant's bond is revoked in this matter. Defendant is turning himself into the Washington County Jail by 6 p.m. today. Failure to turn himself in will result in a bench warrant with no bond. Imagine a moment where humor entwines with distrust, exposing the stark lack of judgment in individuals. This scenario underscores the importance of adhering to social rules and highlights the potential fallout from flouting them. It's a glaring example of disregarding the foundational values of law and order. Harris's behavior epitomizes a flagrant disrespect for the judicial system and its regulations. It underscores the vital role of personal responsibility and the imperative of upholding one's duties. To appear in court while blatantly continuing to violate the law by driving with a suspended license is a clear affront to societal norms and legal standards. Such actions erode the integrity of the legal framework and demonstrate a profound unawareness of the consequences tied to one's decisions. We must delve into the psychological and motivational forces that propelled Harris towards such choices. Was it impulsiveness, a sense of invincibility, or a sheer lack of foresight? Harris's choice to respond to a court summons while driving illegally suggests a disconnect between the gravity of her situation and the necessity of adhering to legal constraints.